Hi, welcome again to our channel. In this video, we will design this one, a wristwatch stand. Okay, first I will press V so that the plane will uh, be seen from above or from top view. And then I will start by making circle here with diameter 35. But you can use your own measurement, so it's okay. I'm going to use 35. And then after that, I will click this one line and then drag a line from this center by 45 degrees with the length 35 millimeters also okay and then I will click this one circle and then starting from this point making another circle with 35 millimeters diameter okay and then next I'm clicking this one the tangent line click the here and then I will make a line here okay to this circle okay and then next one more tangent line so I'm clicking here to here then and we have this shape now next I will make the uh, foot or the base for this wristwatch stand so I'm going to make a rectangle here but we are going to make some distance from the top one so let me pull from here let's say 30 millimeters okay and then after that we will click this one the rectangle and then I will click here uh, goes here and we'll use the thickness 3 millimeters okay okay now we have this shape which looks like the final product but still needs some additional shape this time I'm going to use this one the tangent arc looks better and then from this point to this line ah, okay looks better like this and then we'll make another one same tangent arc but this one to the uh, this one to the front side of the wristwatch stand okay so now we have this shape and then next uh, we will click the 3d mode in order to make the shape as surface okay we have this surface it's almost finished now and we need to add some thickness in this outer uh, lines but now after we switch from the sketch mode to the 3d mode this becomes surface and we can remove these lines one by one so uh, again we click at this surface and click this one the sketch mode now you can see that we can move this sorry we can remove these lines or curve one by one as we want so now I'm removing one by one if previously it was a circle set and now it's just uh, segments of lines and curves so now we have this shape and I will remove this one also okay now it looks more like the final product and next we'll click here oh sorry click here and then uh, press control we will select the lines along this shape to add some thickness and then I will click this one the offset curve okay and I will move let's say I will add three millimeters for the thickness okay done and then after that we will I uh, will click select we will uh, close this curve so that it will become a closed loop I'm going to use again I will use this one the three point circle and then zoom here okay click here and like this uh, sorry three millimeters okay also here click here click here and three millimeters done so now we have this shape I will click home and then this is how it looks like now to make this uh, lines or these curves to become a 3d shape we will click this one 
the 3d mode okay and then after that we will extrude or we will pull one by one first i will pull this one the uh, connector between the foot or the base to the hand or the body of the uh, wristwatch stand so i will click this one pull and i will add three millimeters here okay now i will click this one the base and then pull 40 millimeters okay now we will click here I will just double click so that it will also select these two small uh, surface or circles and then pull by 40 millimeters now click select press this one click home and done so this is how it looks like a watch stand that we have just designed by ourselves you can adjust the size as you want or the shape if maybe you want more uh, larger at the top curve or so on up to you or you maybe want to add some uh, marking here like letters name just add as you want anyway i will export this file to stl and print it later on and i will share to you the stl and also the design spark mechanical design file on cults 3d okay nice and for the printing orientation it's going to look like this one so meaning that this uh, surface will be the base of the printing and we don't need to add any support for this design okay Here is the printing process. I'm using PLA on FDM machine. And this is the result. You can download the RS doc and STL file by following the link in the description. Okay, that's all for now. Have a great day and have fun. Bye.